Good day. Welcome to Simple Maths TV. For today's video, we are going to look at a Chrome extension that enables you to write any mathematical equation or expression easily. The new normal we are in today makes it challenging for our educational system. Both the teacher and student struggle, especially in mathematics. Writing an equation in an online learning setup is a difficult thing to do. That's why I will be sharing with you an amazing tool that will ease out your math tasks. This is a Chrome extension called Equatio. In order to use Equatio, we need a Google Chrome browser. Equatio is a Chrome extension. Let me show you how to install this extension in your Chrome web browser. In your browser, click Apps Drawer. This is usually found in the upper left corner of the screen. Then open the Google Web Store. Type Equatio on the search box. Then you'll see this in the results. Open it and click Add an extension to Chrome. I already installed it so what you can see now is this. If you are to install it for the first time, you will see Add extension to Chrome. This time, let's explore its different features. First, let's use it on Google Docs. As teachers, we want to see the complete solution of the kids when working on tasks that require computations. To use Equatio on Google Docs, click this small Equatio icon. You must see these different tools below the screen. First is the Equation Editor, where you can directly type the equation or expression you like. Next is the Latex Editor where you can type simple or complicated mathematical equations or expressions using codes. We also have the graph editor, where you can type an expression and it will automatically generate its graph. Let's have an example. I will type here 3x plus 5. There you see its graph. We also have the handwriting recognition. You may use your mouse in writing, and it will automatically convert it to text equation. Next is the speech input. You tell the equation or expression then it will be written for you. You can also have Equatio on mobile. Just go to the given address or scan the code to get the mobile application. We also have the screenshot reader. This feature can read any mathematical equation when scanned. Let's try it. I am going to look for images on Google. I think fractions will be good for testing. I'll copy it and paste it on the document. Now let's use the screenshot reader. One half plus one third equals five sixths. Wow, that's amazing. I'm impressed. Let's try the second one. One third plus one fourth equals seven over twelve. That really works. Now let's try some advanced math expression. The integral of the fraction with the numerator 4x and denominator the square root of x squared plus 1. Whoa! That feature is so cool. Let's now answer the fraction exercise using the handwriting recognition tool. You can adjust the writing space by dragging this up. 
be sure to place the cursor into its correct position. Right now, I am using my mouse to write my solution. 1 fourth plus 1 half equals 1 fourth plus 2 fourth. Wow! My handwriting is automatically converted to text equation on the other side. Then, this is now equal to 3 fourths. Finally, I'll click insert math to place my solution in the document. There you go. Let's now try the speech recognition feature of Equatio. Let's answer the second fraction exercise. I'll click the record button then speak. Let's see how this thing will work. Ahem. 2. And 3 fourths equals. 11. Fourths. Wow. This is so cool. My recorded voice is automatically converted into text equation. All right, let's continue. Two and three fourths minus seven eight equals eleven fourths minus seven eighths. Equals twenty two eighths minus seven eighths equals fifteen eighths there you go This time around, let's try Equatio on Google Slides. Google Slides is a powerful tool that the teacher can use during online learning sessions. It can serve as a virtual board. What makes it interesting is that you can personalize the working space. Like now, I will be using a notebook as my background. I am using Google Slides during my online learning sessions with the kids. With the use of the Equatio, it makes it easier for me to write and present different math equation in a manner that students can really understand it. Writing equations with fractions and exponents becomes easier. Like the one I am writing now. Teachers can easily create examples and the kids can easily write their solution. This makes the instruction active and seamless. Let's solve the equation. Wow! Putting parentheses and exponents is so quick. Writing different lines of equations is made simple by just hitting enter in the keyboard. There you go.
this tool can be used across all levels. From grade school math to high school and higher ed mathematics. This is a must-have extension if you are a mathematics teacher. It's a great tool to use in demonstrating and or presenting a problem-solving solution. Now, let's use the speech input feature for the checking part. Negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1. Is it equal to 0? One plus negative two plus one equals zero. Negative one plus one equals zero. Zero equals zero. <laughs> Lastly, we can also use Equatio in Google Forms. Google Forms are best to use in creating quizzes and examinations. And with the use of Equatio, teachers can easily write mathematical problems in Google Forms. Students too can insert their complete solution. Let's take a look at this example. In launching Equatio, you may use the icon on top or the icon beside the text box right here. Let's try higher math this time. Let's have a preview of the form and answer it with a complete solution.
And there you have it. Thank you for watching Simple Maths TV. If you find this video helpful, you may give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell to be notified for the upcoming video lessons and tutorials. See you again next time.